The Latin name Achillea millefolium. The millefolium. Uh, Millions of um, leaves. <coughs> Because the leaf is very distinctive, it's divided into many, many, many leaflets. Millefolium, a thousand leaves. And it's an aromatic plant. When you rub the leaves, it smells good. It has oils in the leaves and in the flowers. More oils in the flowers, really. Um, and it's really famous, this plant. And it's structurally very beautiful, I think. But I think probably some of you know it already. You were yeah. just saying, my use I into oil. I think, and then to Inj fix like injuries on the skin and everything. So not yeah. my do that, but uh. yeah, it's a famous wound healing herb, and the Achillea name comes from the story of Achilles using this herb to heal the wounds of his soldiers. Um, I guess it didn't work with him, <laughs> but it is known to have this kind of. a big injury, so maybe it was putting yeah. a bit too much. Uh, this is a good lesson, actually, there. because I wouldn't use it. So you can use it if there's a bit of bleeding. If you cut yourself in the kitchen with a knife. If you cut your leg off, then. If you need a new leg. <laughs> solution. <laughs> or a different solution. Um, but it has the action of being hemostatic is the name in English, which means stopping bleeding. Um, so if you, again, you could chew up the leaf and hold it on to the cut and it reduces the bleeding. Incidentally, chili powder also does this. But it doesn't. I tried it because I heard about it and I cut myself and I sprinkled powder. But it works differently to this. With the chili, it seems to clot the blood on the yeah. surface. It's whereas, more like granulates it. Like yeah. Kind of thing, and this just stops this it. seems to stop it from the inside. But I also know it as like one of the, like, I like the, the women's. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can look at it, it's like very female to me. Somehow. Yeah. And yeah. it's like you also drink it when you have cramps, when you have your period. But as I also know, it's it's a strong uh, medicine, and you shouldn't do it for too long. You shouldn't drink like tea not every day for months because it's really hard on your kidneys. That okay. I'm not sure, but that's okay. uh, what I, I heard. So that, you cut, you drink it, and and you know, okay, I'm drinking this now, and then you stop again. So it's kind of. But you, I mean, it's not like after five days you're gonna have a kidney failure, but you have to be a bit uh, careful with it. It's, it's a strong girl. It's just, yeah, and it's an interesting plant. And all the plants do many things, don't they? They don't yeah. just do one single activity, they do lots of things. But this plant particularly is amazing because it has so many actions. And one is that when you taste it, especially the leaves, it's bitter. So you know what bitter does in the body? The taste of bitter, when we taste bitter, it's stimulating all the digestive processes. So it's stimulating saliva in the mouth, it's stimulating the liver. All of the processes of digestion are being made more effective if we wow. taste bitter. And many plants are bitter, but this one is an aromatic bitter, it helps digestion. But the oils, they're also quite antimicrobial, anti-infective, so it can be good. People use it for, you know, when you get a bladder, urinary tract infection. A stomach infection, this kind of one. So that's one aspect. The other is the blood aspect. The women's aspect is strong. Like uh, one thing I would like to add uh, with this antiseptic thing, I was... Uh, um, to me, we went to the lake and I had a cut. No, I had some... No, we went to the lake and I had something on my toe. You know when this nail... Uh, the, where the nail is, the bed goes mm -hmm. infected. It's mm -hmm. like, I never had that before, but I don't know. Mm. And um, we were there at the lake in the middle of nowhere, no, nothing around. We were there with the bikes and my, my toe would just go like bigger and red and it would go like boom, boom, Dropping. boom. And then I looked and it's just like, oh shit, I have a red line there. And it's like, oh my God, oh my God. So I said, and I, and I felt like, oh shit, I don't want to, it was one of those rare moments like, like being on the lake and I didn't want to leave. So it was up to here, the red oh, line. Shit. And I was like, hmm. So I took a pen and I made a, like a thing and against that, it yeah. and I put my leg into into this all day and next day it was gone. Ooh. So uh, this into is how this. strong it is. Like I made a tea. 
Yeah. And I tea because that's what you have in the on the on the lake. You make hot water, you put it inside, and I put my foot in, and that was it. I mean, it was amazing. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I cut my leg and then I stuck it. No, 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 no. You know, it's sepsis. It's a sepsis. Infection. Infection of the. It's the limb thing, no? It's German. It's got blood vessels. There's some infection that's traveling in the blood, so it was going up, up, up.